hi guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video you guys know that i get very excited when it is time to film the what's new with alma series this is episode three of the what's new with alma series that i recently began on my channel if you don't know what i'm talking about i will leave the first two videos linked up here so you can go catch up okay but basically this is just me coming at you with all the trending gist what's going on in the entertainment industry what's going on in nollywood what's going on in hollywood what's going on among celebrities what's going on on reality TV what is going on literally in everybody's life except my own that's it all right now in today's video we have a lot to dissect we have a lot to talk about because ah, a lot has been going on the last couple of days and I thought to come here of course and give my opinion on all of these things and if this is something that you know you want to see then please keep on watching it's gonna be interesting <laughs> Okay, so first off, first off, first off, the Real Housewives of Abuja. Hmm. Um, let me just confess right now that I have known about this new show that is about to, you know, start. Um, because they did not approach me. Oh, no, they did not approach me. Ah, me, yeah, I cannot, ah, I cannot do the housewives. So I beg, I never reach. I never reach like that, I think. But yeah, I have known that um, the Real Housewives of Abuja has been in the works um there was a leaked audition clip okay i want to say from my correct sources it is a leaked audition video that video was leaked those were the ladies who auditioned who were asked rather to audition you know for a role in the real housewives of abuja and i feel like somebody sat down and compiled all of those clips and made it into like a trailer from what i have gathered as well that cast is not the final cast of the real housewives of abuja because i did hear that one or two of the ladies have dropped out it was just an audition video there is no sure thing yet the entire six people that you saw in that video may not even be the cast that would eventually be part of the real housewives of abuja but let me quickly talk about those people that you saw in those videos first and foremost because you guys know that i always have to rep my own okay princess jacoco was in that video for a while yeah we have been in the know about you know the possibility of her being on the real housewives of abuja but even her up till now has not decided fully 100 if she's doing the show yet or not but i'm rooting for her whether she's going to do it or not i'm solidly behind her you guys know she's my babe i'm going to support her regardless all right there was also ogwa the owner of design i don't know if ogwa is still going to go through with that series from what i hear i'm not sure yet there was also umita umita rabiu she's a blogger also here in abuja and i was a bit surprised to be honest when i heard before that trailer was leaked when i heard that she was going to be part of the cast i'm just like really i always knew her to be more on the you know reserved side more of the you know i don't talk too much type like she's a very nice sweet person so in my head i was like oh my god umisa is going to be part of the real housewives of abuja really but that's for me is an interesting thing because i really want to see more of her more of her life and all of that i feel like it'd be very very interesting to watch to be honest, the other ladies, I don't really know them. I was hearing about them for the very first time when I saw that leaked trailer. The only other person that stood out for me was Jaruma and... <laughs> Um, that woman is trouble okay that woman is trouble and i feel like producers the directors just want a bit of drama and that's why they have to bring jaruma and in my head i'm just like but jaruma is not really abuja based the last time i checked she's dubai based or something so i was a bit shocked when i heard she was going to be on this show i'm just like okay what's the catch you know but i can clearly understand what they are trying to do okay i don't fault her for that i just hope and pray that the kind of drama that she will bring will not be the one that will just scatter the whole place you guys get my point but all in all i'm looking forward to watching that whoever still decides to be part of the cast the eventual six ladies that are going to be seen when they decide to now film it i'm looking forward to that but i am very very sure that one or two of these people will no longer be a part of the cast and also for those people who are like oh my god real housewives of abuja oh it's going to be dry oh why did they carry it to abuja oh excuse you excuse you <laughs> for those of us who live in abuja what do you mean what are you trying to say abuja is the capital of nigeria just in case you have forgotten if they don't bring it to abuja where will they carry it to 
other real housewives franchises they do it in multiple cities in south africa they have the real housewives of durban of joburg so exactly i'm understanding why people are like eh, they will now have it in other states in ogun in taraba in this i'm like keep quiet close your mouth is lagos the only state in nigeria eh what's your problem i'm looking forward to when they premiere because or more i'm gonna be the first in my remote control watching that's for sure definitely what do you guys think about the real housewives of abuja coming soon let me know in the comments below let's talk about it as always okay moving on to some foreign gist kim kardashian and pete davidson i mean pete richardson i mean what's that his name have broken up after nine months of dating if you saw this coming raise your hand in the comments yeah we all saw this coming i mean come on hello from the moment that the news broke that kim kardashian was dating this boy i'm like excuse ma excuse ma is it a crime to be on your own is it a crime for you to be on your own you just got divorced or rather just filed for divorce just got separated and all of that even if you want to eventually even date somebody can you just be mute about it can you just be a lot more quiet about it can you at least give yourself some time to heal from a six-year marriage that you know hit the rocks and you got separated and you're getting divorced can you at least just take it down two three notches but uh, no kim said mba she must date again and who did she go and date pete davidson she be that's his name hold on pete davidson yes that's his name and i'm just like and it must see any part that hey god is that all the people in hollywood are finished like p davidson went out with ariana grande he went out with who again in fact himself and ariana were engaged if i recall very very well and he's always been in the news for dating some of the hottest women in hollywood and when you see p davidson you begin to wonder what are these women seeing maybe it was what we are not seeing no maybe because you know they spend time with him they get to know him for him his person but based on outwardly appearance p davidson is not the kind of person that you should expect to see on the arm of the hottest women in hollywood do you get my point now they've broken up he has tattooed her her name on his body whether it's her name maybe it's her face he has shot tattooed something about her on his body in less than a year i think he they say he even tattooed her children's names i don't even know but i just knew that the way the thing was going it was going on full speed mode and i just knew that almost this one is not going to last at all at all at all so when i woke up that morning and i saw the news on my phone i'm just like eh, we, we saw it coming all of us saw it coming it wasn't going to last i feel like kim was just having a blast and just enjoying the attention that she was getting from pete davidson and when it expired everybody moved on with their lives that's it i'm looking here waiting to hear who she dates next because that woman <laughs> she's always in the news so i'm lucky still here waiting to see who she dates next still on obodo Ibo news and still within the kardashian family chloe kardashian and her on off again boo tristan thompson just welcomed their second child via surrogate and i think when i read up on this i did my research on this i got to find out that chloe and tristan are not even together right now because apparently when they decided to have a second child when she took him back decided to have another child with him by surrogate he still went on the cheating spree again and they broke up again so in my head i'm just like getting back together initially was unnecessary because it has been shown it has been proven time and time again over and over again that tristan thompson is never gonna change that man is who he is he can never ever be with one woman it's not possible if tristan thompson can constantly cheat on chloe not once not twice not three times ah, at this point it is the chloe that i even blame she's the one i blame yes i blame her because i'm just like he has done it once he has done it twice why are you still with this man why did you even decide to have another child with him even though it's via surrogate why did you even decide to do that but the news that broke a few days ago says that chloe and tristan have welcomed their second child via surrogate but i feel like the circumstances that surround this child's birth are just a bit uh, you know i wish them all the best i wish chloe all the best i hope that that woman finds genuine happiness because or more her last two relationships first her marriage to lamar odom and now with this tristan they have just made a ridicule and mockery of this woman in the social media and in the news and i'm just like ah it's too much for one woman to handle but i wish her all the best and i hope that she genuinely finds true happiness still linked to the kardashians or rather still linked to kim kardashian kanye west's 
fifth attorney, fifth divorce attorney has quit. Yes, Kanye West has had not one, not two, not three, not four, but five divorce attorneys quit on him. There's an ongoing divorce between himself and Kim Kardashian and this is the fifth attorney that he has hired that has quit on him. And this woman cited irreversibly broken relationship with her clients and she can no longer go on. See, Kanye West is a lot. That man is a whole lot. He is a whole lot of human. He is just a whole lot going on in one human body. He must be one of the most difficult clients to have because otherwise, I don't understand how you can have one, two, three, four, five attorneys quit on you. What's going on, sir? Are you the only person? Are you the, are you the only person in the world? What is happening? And if I'm really being completely honest, I feel like the marriage between Kim and Kanye even went on longer than I thought it was going to because everybody knows that Kanye West. Kanye West, that guy's like, I don't know. It's like some things I don't understand because he's just a whole lot. He's a whole lot. That man has a whole lot going on in his life. I think they said that he's even bipolar. I think Kim has cited that he's actually bipolar and a lot going on. Like, I don't really know who can have a proper relationship with Kanye West because the man has proven time and time again over and over again he is just a different species of human being. <laughs> when I saw this news a few days ago I'm just like wow the fifth divorce attorney quits on you you might as well just represent yourself at this point because I don't know who or what can help you at this point sir I don't know. Moving on John Legend and Chris Teigen are expecting another baby they just announced this or rather she just announced this recently on social media and if you guys don't know John Legend and Chrissy Tyan, they have two children, but they recently lost the third pregnancy um, sometime last year or so. But they just revealed recently now that they are expecting another baby, and I have my fingers crossed for them and I pray and hope that this one stays and she delivers and he or she is a healthy, healthy baby. This couple is one of my all time favorite couples. I just love them so much and I wish them nothing but the best. And I hope, 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 and hope, pray, 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 and pray, fingers crossed that very soon we'll have or move on use you know you guys carrying a pregnancy is not easy at all i mean if you've been through that you know that carrying a pregnancy is not the easiest thing okay there are a lot of complications anything can go wrong at any time so i have my fingers crossed for john legend and his wife and i hope and pray that everything goes well this time around okay in jesus mighty name amen so now down to some bb and niger gist yes if you've been living under a rock the current season of big brother nigeria is on season seven level up and a lot see this year's big brother i don't know what's happening I don't know what's going on because the basketballs, the dish dish, everything that's happening is a whole lot. A whole lot, guys. There's so much going on at the same time and it's not even helping that there are two channels. You have to keep going back and forth between both channels to know what's going on. Like, a whole lot is going on, but let's start from somewhere. Obviously, the number one gist that went down this week was beauty's disqualification. And let me just quickly say that I saw that coming. I saw that coming, but I did not see that coming so soon into the show like that girl's village people are working over time in her matter they are working over time because oh my god i watched what led to her disqualification the saturday night party where she got angry at groovy for dancing with chomzy and she flung her wig at him she flung her glasses at him she removed her microphone and she threw and just like this girl really wants to go home like she really really wants to go home so i wasn't surprised when by the following day big brother gave her a double strike one for removing and throwing away her microphone which is against the house rules and two for physical violence against groovy for throwing her wig and her glasses at him and this was somebody who got a strike the previous sunday for the same physical violence by removing ilibaye's wig and her cap she has broken the record for being the very, very first housemate to be disqualified on the show in literally two weeks. Like the first two weeks of the show, you were disqualified. In fact, she was the very first housemate to leave the house even before the first eviction. All I can say is, wow, for somebody who is supposed to be the outgoing Miss Nigeria that has such thoughts like behavior, such raz behavior, such uncouth behavior, that's supposed to be an outgoing queen. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Like this matter, this matter weak me, and I'm just like, you know what? She got what she deserved. 
to be disqualified two weeks into the show the whole country would forget you so quick you know how it is when the first two evictions people don't tend to remember them after some time you were the first to leave the house and you were even disqualified and see goodbye bye bye i wish you all the best in your future endeavors ah, you know what let's move on from beauty okay we've been seeing a lot of <coughs> porn <coughs> in the <coughs> in the big brother house and one couple that has really shocked me the most is khalid and daniela this thing between them is even fairly new because the very first week of the show i didn't really see much of them together as a couple until the previous week and khalid and daniela have hey god they have taken it up 1000 notches khalid and daniela are literally knocking in big brother's house without a care in the wall how do you forget that big brother's house has night vision cameras how can you even in my head i'm sorry but if i'm in that house i'm not saying that bodies fire would at the same time when you always remember that there are cameras on you you should have everything you know having sex is not something that is new having sex is something that happens every day amongst millions and millions of people around the world having the sex is not the issue the issue is having the sex on camera the issue is having the sex on a platform where millions of people can watch and see you. Other people who are having sex are having sex behind closed doors. Nobody is seeing us having sex. You know, that's not my point. But knowing that you're on camera, knowing that you're on international TV, and see, brother, turn it down. Like, ah, turn it down 100 notches. It now became too much. There was a clip I saw of the previous night. They, they were that is they didn't have a care in the world and amaka was just there looking at them watching them like is this really happening so khalid and daniela i really don't know like i really don't know don't they have families who are watching them like i feel like oh my, if i'm in that house and eh, my family is in my head 247 doesn't mean i will not mingle but there are just some things that you just keep even if it means waiting until the final day when you will have seen each other again if you want to do it right there in the, in the moto in the hotel room anywhere nobody would fault you but the main issue here is the fact that it's on camera that's the main problem i feel like these housemates are like the horniest set of housemates in big brother niger history because the way ships have formed in less than two weeks the way couples are kissing and cuddling and in two weeks i'm just like what's going on what is happening also we saw some new housemates come in initially they had two fake housemates come in and then recently they had two housemates called riders who will be there till the end of the show but they cannot win the prize neither can they be evicted i think i like the twist i'm loving this twist and turns with this new big brother season i feel like the game became too predictable and too boring and i feel like they're giving us back to back to back back to back now i'm loving it i'm enjoying it also we saw the eviction of saif and christy o from the trenches house or rather from level two and yeah i feel like well with christy oh mm, she wasn't really giving much so i saw her own eviction coming for scythe i was hoping he would stay longer i love what's going on between him and doing and you guys could see that she was very heartbroken when she found out that scythe was evicted and all of that so yeah i really wished he stayed at least one or two weeks longer we also saw the swapping of houses okay so right now level two is in the black and white house the bigger space and level one one is in the trenches house and it was just very interesting to see how you know they reacted to seeing these different spaces for the very first time and having to adapt and live in those spaces like i'm just really enjoying the twists and turns that big brother is giving this year and i'm here for it i'm totally here for it okay so moving on jackie Ina. i keep calling her jackie Ina because i feel like that's the actual pronunciation of her son name not Aina or the way you guys pronounce it is Jackie Aina. If it's a proper Yoruba name, I know that that's how it's pronounced. Jackie Aina was in the news recently for something very, very, very sensitive and very controversial. Now, if you guys don't know who Jackie is, Jackie, 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 Jackie is a beauty influencer, a Nigerian beauty influencer based in the u.s and she has done very well for herself she was one of the very first people i started watching here on youtube okay and i love her i love 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 her she has a scented candle brand called forever mood lovely lovely brand and she came out with a new collection of her candles recently a nigerian inspired line of candles so she named these candles after popular words here in nigeria there was one she named no wahala there was one she named soft life 
there was another one that she named something else but she named the fourth candle sorosuke sorosuke was a phrase that became very popular here in nigeria october 20th 2020 the nigerian army opened fire on innocent youth who were protesting against the government in lagos at the lekki toll gate and many people lost their lives during that the sorosuke phrase became popular during that time it basically means to speak louder you know open your mouth that phrase became very popular during that time because the entire youth in Nigeria were protesting the killing of innocent colleagues at the Lekki toll gate. Now, a lot of people saw it as very insensitive for Jackie to name one of her candles, Sorosuke, and profiting off that name, she literally turning that name or monetizing that name for her own benefit. I completely understand that. Like, I was also very flabbergasted when I saw it and I'm just like, wow, Sorosuke, really? Um, I feel like that was a mistake that could have been easily avoided if she had just done some background research or asked questions. But then again, it's like, but you're Nigerian though. Everybody knows what happened during that movement, during that time. You can't say you don't know. So why do you think it is okay to name a candle Sir it doesn't, it doesn't, It doesn't make any sense. So trust your Nigerian people, Nigerians drugs, Jackie like generator, oh my God. God. the internet was buzzing twitter was going off her instagram comments where people were coming for her people were insulting her and at a point i'm just like i i understand the hurt and pain what she did was completely distasteful but so many of the insults i was like ah if people could die from insult then eh, jackie would have slumped her diet if you could die from insults because some of the insults were heavy, like they carry weight. Thankfully, she took down the candle from the shelves. Um, Sephora took down the candle from the website. And um, I, I believe they would rename the candle at a later date and re-release a particular candle. But they took it down. She apologized. She put out a press statement and apologized and all of that. And I really, really hope that going forward, you know, before you do something like that or before you think you're... See, if, you're, if your mind is telling you that something is going to cause problem it is most likely going to cause problems so ask questions do your research before you monetize things that are sensitive to people okay it's just like somebody profiting off the name George Floyd or Black Lives Matter it's literally the same thing you don't do that you don't create merchandise and use phrases or taglines that have been linked to you know revolutionary moments or you know sad moments or in the lives of millions of people and all of that so she has a Apologize, and I do hope that it does not repeat itself. I do hope that nobody else gets to make a mistake like this because if you do, Nigerians are gonna tear you to shreds. That's what they do. They're gonna tear you to pieces. Up next, the Commonwealth Games are currently ongoing, and Toby Amoson has done it again, again, and again. And the person who was running commentary on that race said, Toby has forgotten how to lose. She has forgotten how to lose. She is constantly putting a smile on the face of every Nigerian. She again broke a world record, a 100 meters huddle and she also together with three other ladies won the 4x100 relay race as well also some other nigerian ladies have been winning different gold medals at the commonwealth games and i'm just like wow these women are bringing so much pride to this country at a time when we really really need it i think at this point now we have about 13 gold medals right from my last calculation 13 gold medals guys in one ongoing commonwealth games that's amazing they are all from women that is amazing congratulations to toby and every other lady who is winning a gold medal for nigeria at the commonwealth games that is amazing and we pray for more okay we pray for more and the very last gist i have for you guys today popular musician kiss daniel was recently arrested in tanzania for refusing to show up at a show that he had been built to perform at. Now, from my research, Kiss Daniel was built to perform at a show in Tanzania. And he arrived in Tanzania, everything was cool, but he refused to go on stage because his clothes did not come. Um, apparently, he refused to buy any clothes, he refused to wear any other clothes. It had to be the clothes that the airline had not brought when i saw a clip of um, a live video where daddy freeze talks to the organizer of the show who is also a nigerian the guy was bitter about the whole thing because according to him he spent about three hundred thousand dollars on this show three hundred thousand dollars on this show and tables were going for as much as five thousand to ten thousand dollars 
and these things were all sold out people have already paid money for all these things and he refused to perform according to him it was not even the clothes he refused to perform because his gold chains had not arrived his gold chains did not come along with him on the aeroplane and i'm just like um which kind of vanity be this according to the guy kiss daniel literally had a gold chain he had one gold chain on his neck but refused to go on stage if he did not wear the complete set of the chain yeah that was why he literally refused to perform at that event and you know sometimes you feel that you can do these things in nigeria i see celebrities having shows here in nigeria where they keep their fans waiting till 3 a.m 4 a.m before they come out and nobody says anything people just grumble grumble on social media make noise but nobody really does anything about it now you have gone to another country to go and do it in this one now as in you literally refuse to even go on stage what did they do they arrested him oh yes because it's a show that has been paid for it is your duty to go on stage and perform and this organizer guy was even saying that people were begging him even somebody who was in america the person that he booked kiss daniel from who is in america called and was begging these guys to go on stage and he refused because his gold chains were not there nigerian celebrities need to come down from that high horse because oh mother horse is too high is too high okay now they never they are not arrested you they now disgraced you they now showed you that you cannot come and do that in their country you think there's nigeria as i yesterday i saw the news break that he had been released i'm not sure what the conditions of the release where but i believe he's on his way back to nigeria or maybe he has even arrived in nigeria at this point but it's not a very good look for you as a celebrity who to be honest is not really in the news for stuff like this most times it was very heartbreaking to see him be really cool like this in a different country do you get my point so yeah i really really hope he has learned from this experience and he does not get to try this again especially outside the country because they will tidy you like they will literally tidy you all right guys so that's all i have for you guys in today's edition today's episode of what's new with alma i hope you guys enjoyed watching if you enjoyed watching let me know in the comment section down below subscribe thumbs up share this video i'll see you guys in my next one Bye.